All right, so it's the next day, everything's dry. I just took all of these panels out of the clamps. Now we get to go cut them out on the bandsaw. So if you do not have a bandsaw, you could also use a jigsaw. That's a cheaper option. It's still gonna give you the shape of the chair seats that you're looking for. All right, this is our 14 inch Craftsman bandsaw. I bought it a couple of months ago. Our Sears in town went out of business and they had a sale and I was like, oh, it's a great time to get a bandsaw. Used tools don't come up very often in my area, so I've gotta just kinda of take the deals I can find. So I'm not gonna go over how I adjusted it or set it up. Um, I do have the smaller blade on here, not my big uh, resawing blade. There's a million YouTube videos on how to set up a band, so I'm not gonna cover that today. All right, this is my oscillating belt sander. It's on my double flip top workbench. If you wanna build one like this, go to Gunflint Designs. I basically stole his ideas. So uh, give credit where it's due, go check him out. And that's where I got the inspiration to build this workbench from. Safety is always your responsibility, but this is something that like I didn't realize for the longest time is that the little fine dust particles from sanding is what can hurt you the most. So make sure you're wearing a mask, respirator, whatever when you're sanding. But yeah, safety is always your responsibility. It's not mine. But for now, we're just gonna use this oscillating belt to get all the edges nice and smooth. All right, so now that we've got these nice and sanded, we've got this really sharp corner for your legs to sit over and hang, and that's gonna kinda cut into your knees. So in order to fix that, there's a couple different things we could do. We could sand it down, uh, but the other thing we can do is we can use a router to put a template over the edge. And a router is basically just a big motor that spins a metal bit very fast. And when I mean fast, I'm talking like, 15,000 RPMs, super quick. They make all kinds of bits. They do all sorts of different things, like they make rabbiting bits, they make a roundover bit. So really the two options we have right now is a roundover, which would put kind of a, a smooth curve around the edge, or a chamfer bit, which this is just gonna cut a 45 degree angle on that sharp 90. So that's what we're gonna do with this because that matches the profile I already had on the kitchen table and the bench. Other places you could use a router, if you look at your kitchen cabinet doors, if there's any sort of a fancy profile or a smooth curve, a lot of times look at your baseboards. If there's a, a curve or a pattern on the top or bottom of your baseboards, that's usually done with a router and a really big bit. That's a router and there's two ways to use it. You can use a handheld base like this, and you can basically just go around the edge of a table or an edge of something big. Or the other way to do it, which is what we're gonna do, 
is you mount it upside down here in this table and the bit spins the other way. So what's important to know is that you need to feed the piece from your right to your left. It's backwards from reading, from your right to your left. If you're doing it in a handheld, you wanna go the opposite. You wanna go from your left to your right. But that's it. Remember, safety is your responsibility, not mine. Use your safety equipment, all that fun stuff. We're gonna get the router set up with a scrap piece to make sure it's the depth that we want. And then we're just gonna do that on the tops of all the seats. So we just finished up the routered edge on all these chairs. We've got a few burn marks here and there, but we can sand those out later. What's your favorite one? I really like this one just because I like the pattern on it and it looks like it flows nicely, but I also really like this one because it's got this super unique like knot yeah, there like, at the bottom. Yeah, my favorite too. So I don't know. I think those are, my, those are my two favorites. I think they're going to look great. Okay. The finish we're going to use on the kitchen table really does a good job of bringing out the color in Hickory. We have got a meeting, so we got to run. So tomorrow we're going to pick up with these and we're going to finish sanding them to their final grit. Jenny's going to do that. And then we're going to go ahead and finish them and then install them on the chairs. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Stay up to date with our latest project. Yes.